Hey guys, welcome to this video on summation notation. So here we have our problem. We want to evaluate the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of 60 times i divided by i plus 1 minus 7. And so at first this may look um, pretty daunting or complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this up into smaller chunks and then solve those smaller chunks to make it easier for us to solve this equation. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the summation property to break this up. So we get this is equal to the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of 60 times i divided by i plus 1 minus the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of 7. All right. And so now what we can do is we can also use that. Um, we can use another summation property to move the 60 and 7 in front of the summation. So now we're going to get 60 times the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of i divided by i plus 1 minus 7 times the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of 1. Okay? All right. So now this should be a little bit easier. So what we get is we get 60 times, well, what's the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of i divided by i plus 1? So what that means is we're going to have a 1 in the numerator for the first iteration. And then we're going to have 1 more than what is in the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to have 1 plus 1, which is 2. Okay? And we're going to do this 5 times. So we get 1 half plus, well now i is going to increment to 2, so we're going to get something like 2 divided by 2 plus 1, and that just equals 2 divided by 3, plus, well now i increments again, i is 3, so we're going to get 3 divided by 3 plus 1, and so 3 plus 1 is just 4. And then i is going to increment to 4, and so we're going to get 4 divided by 4 plus 1, so that gives us 5 in our denominator. And then we have one more uh, iteration, because we've done 1, 2, 3, 4 iterations so far. So we get 5 divided by 6. Okay? And then we have to worry about this other half here. So we have minus 7 times the summation from i equals 1 to 5 of 1. So what is that? That's just minus 7 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay? And so you can see that's just 1 5 times. So what is that equal? That just equals 5. So we're going to replace all this with the number 5. Okay. So... Um, let's go ahead and rewrite this a little bit better. So we get 60 times a half plus 2 thirds plus 3 fourths plus 4 fifths plus 5 six minus 7 times 5. Okay, so 7 times 5 is just 35, so I'm going to replace this with 35. Okay, so now this looks pretty solvable. Now it's just um, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. So let's try to add these up here. The one-half plus two-thirds plus three-fourths plus four-fifths um, plus five-sixths. And so what we can do is we can find a common uh, denominator for all of them. And you can do that by, uh, you can multiply them all together if you want to. Um, but I see the 60 out here, and it'd be nice if the uh, denominator uh, were 60. So I will actually, I can see that 60 uh, can be a common um, denominator for these fractions. And so what we get now, for one half, for it to be, um, for the denominator to be 60, we have to multiply 2 by 30. So we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 30. So we get 30 divided by 60 
plus, next we have two thirds. So for the denominator to be 60, we have to multiply uh, three by 20. So our numerator is gonna be multiplied by 20 as well. So we get 20 times uh, two, which is 40. And then we get our denominator uh, 60. All right, next up, we have 3 fourths. So we want our uh, denominator to be 60. So we have to multiply it by 15. And so we have to multiply 3 times 15. So we get 45 over 60. And then next we have 4 fifths. And we want the 5 to be a... Uh, uh, we want the, the denominator to be 60, so you know 60 divided by 5 would be 12. So we need to multiply the uh, num numerator by 12. So we get 48 divided by 60. And then we have 5, 6 left. So 60 divided by 6 is just 10. So we can multiply the numerator by 10 to get uh, 50, or 10 times 5, which is 50. Okay? And then we still have our minus 35. Okay, so this makes it a lot, lot easier. Now we can group the uh, numerators, so we can just add them together. So we get 30 plus 40 plus 45 plus 48 plus 50. And if I'm adding that right, let's see, we get 30 plus 40, which is 70. 70 plus 50 is 120. 120 plus, um, let's say 45 is 165. And 165 plus 48 uh, would be 213. So we're going to write 213 here. Divide it by 60 minus 35. Okay? And now you can see 60 times uh, 213 divided by 60. So we can just cross out the 60s and we just get 213 minus 35. And if I'm doing this right, I think it's 178. So 178 is our answer. All right. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave any questions you have, likes, comments. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video if you found it helpful. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.